I'm joined by legendary actress, Karen Allen. Welcome to District Life, Karen. How are you today? Thanks, I'm great, thank you. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much again for joining us. I'm sure you have been asked this first question so many times, having been in so many mega move, mega hit movies, as well as legendary and really timeless classics, working with those legendary directors and co-stars. Tell me, let's jump right in. Is there one or two or are there a few that stick out in your mind as personal favorites of yours having worked with? Oh, definitely. And I mean, you know, different ones for different reasons. Um, you know, probably Animal House because it was my very first film and um, I really had no idea what I was doing. I had come out of the theater in Washington, D.C. and um, I had done theater for four years and, and then was living in New York and got cast in Animal House um, just a few months after I moved back to New York where I had lived when I was younger. Um, you know, if I flash forward, there's there's some films that were extraordinary to do just because of the, you know, the uniqueness of them and the people, you know, I did a film of, of The Glass Menagerie with Joanne Woodward, where she and I had done the play together twice on stage, two different theaters. And then we'd worked with a, a Greek director, Nikos Sakharopoulos, who then didn't, he didn't, he'd never directed a film. so. When, when the concept of us doing a film came about, Paul Newman stepped in and said he would direct it. So, you know, how, how fantastic an experience can a person have with a Tennessee Williams play with somebody as extraordinary as Joanne Woodward to work with. John Malkovich entered the picture for the film as well and Jimmy Naughton, who I had worked with in, in both plays. Just to hear you hear how you recall those moments, it seems as if you are true. You are in setting your intention as you walk into a project. Talk about the process that you use to select the projects you work on. If I really feel like you know there is really something I can contribute to this character, like I I feel that I have a sense of who this person is and why it's important to try to illuminate that person's story. Then, then that's a good starting point for me. You mentioned earlier that, and I, I can't let this go, you mentioned earlier that you met friends while working in theater and, and doing theater in the DC area mm. and we are district life and we seek to get that deeper meaning. Tell me about your connectivity and your connection to the, the, the DC theater scene. Well, very interesting that, you know, I grew up outside of DC in, in Prince George's County. I went to, I, we moved there when I was 10. My dad worked for the FBI. He was in DC at the FBI building. And um, we lived in a little town uh, near College Park, Maryland, uh, University of Maryland. And um, I left to go to school when I was 17. I, I came, I left to go to school in New York City and I was there for two years studying design at the Fashion Institute of Technology. And then I came back and I moved right into the heart of DC. And I, I got an apartment on DuPont Circle, just off of DuPont Circle, and I was a student. So I was going to George Washington University part-time and I started working in the theater there part-time, um, just by chance. Uh, uh, I got introduced, there was a man living in the apartment next door to me on 21st Street, who is a director of the theater company. I didn't even know what that was. I didn't know what a director of a theater company did, but he invited me to come and see the most celebrated theater company in the world, which I of course had never heard of because I didn't know anything about the theater. And I saw possibilities that I didn't know existed. It was a religious experience in some way, you know? Um, and I started studying with this company and pretty soon that was where the direction my life was going and I was gonna be an actor come hell or high water. <laughs> you know? So fortunately it worked out. <laughs> Well, I've enjoyed the rhythm of this conversation from everyone here at, D at District Life. Thank you so much for having this conversation with my us. My pleasure. I love Washington, D.C. It was really my first, I guess, artistic creative home. And I remember how, for, I think maybe for the first time in my, in my life, when I left D.C., I was really 
you know, sad. I was really tearful. It really felt like, you know, a place that had nurtured me. And uh, uh, I, I loved being a part of that community. We've loved having this conversation with you as well. And we look forward to seeing more of your work um, that will be coming out in the next few years and many more projects to share. Thanks. 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 You're welcome. Thank love you. Love talking to you, Larry. Yeah.